Hey guys, Skimboy3800 here once again, and I've been getting a few questions lately of how do you make a skin for the CRD monster truck for Beam G Drive. And today I'm going to show you how. What you're going to want to do is open up your browser and go to beammonsters.com. It's got to have the little dash in the middle there. And you can see here is where you can download CRD 1.17a. It is out now. In fact, if we go to uh, 1.17a, we'll see it's already got an insane amount of views and downloads. That's insane. And I've got a video here of how to install CRD 1.17 properly. So if you were having trouble with that, I highly recommend watching it. This is the hot fix to uh, fix coilover suspension. It is out now. So go ahead, just click download that and download both of the files up here in the pop-up menu. But now getting on to uh, the main event of today's video, how do you get uh, your skin made and then in-game? Uh, to get your skin in-game, what you want to do is go to CRD EC Skins, and Guard Blast 3 has a set of tutorials that are very easy to get your new truck in-game. But you want to know how to get your truck made in the first place, right? Let's work on that. Go back. We're at the main downloads page right here. And what we want to do is go to Essentials. No, wait. It's going to be truck building items here in the scrapyard. You have track building, truck building, and stadiums, and other stuff as well. We're going to go to truck building items. Now, down here, there's skin, skin templates. I am going to have a uh, updated one coming out in the future. This is an older one, copy-pasted from the old Beam group. This one is uploaded by Rock God. I'll having I'll be having a better one in the future. You can go ahead and hit download and it'll give you a CRD Easy Skins file. So just go to here. And and now just wait for it to uh, finish downloading. I'm not sure if this is my own file or if this is uh Blaze's own file. Oh well. Uh, we can go ahead do this to show in folder. And here we see that's our folder. So what we're going to want to do is open up this. And here we can see all of our different bodies we can uh, make a paint for. So we'll go ahead, right click and hit extract all. It should make a new folder with everything unzipped for us, and now we can go ahead and delete that. So now we have our bodies. We have the 2014 F-250, BB square body, uh, the newer Chevy Silverado, Fens D-Series, uh, Escalade, F-150, and the flag template as well if you want to make a flag for your truck. The panel van, that's the Grave Digger body, have the regular older Ford Super Duty, and then the good old fashioned trophy truck. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Escalade. Here you can see we have three different files in here. Let's go ahead, extra large icons just for you. We have same file but in three different formats. Now these formats may look unfamiliar to you if you don't have any proper editing software, if you only use, say, uh, MS Paint down here. I do not believe MS Paint will open any of these. So what you need to do is look at what each uh, file is. Now, if you don't have the file name extensions, then it'll just look something like this. And, yeah. What you want to do is go get yourself a good program. It can be a program like GIMP. It can be a program like Paint.net. Both of those programs are completely free. Uh, if you want to support Paint.net, you can get it on the Microsoft Store for a few dollars. But if you get it from their own website online, it is completely free. And we're going to go ahead and open up this one. And I'm going to show file name extensions because I like to organize. I thought I did. There we go. PDN, that's paint.net. PSD is Photoshop. And XCF is GIMP. I'm going to go ahead and open PDN. So we can go ahead, open it up in paint.net. Now here we see a few menus along with the main paint itself. Here we have ourselves a layers menu. 
Here you can see you can tick and untick each one, and you can see what exactly each uh, thing does. You can see here we can tick and untick a lot of different grills and headlights. And then the base color, that can be whatever color you, you like. And I will explain here. The mask, that is uh, the black border around everything. If you untick this, then it's all basically just pink. And if you undo the bake, then it's literally all just pink. So, you want to have the mask on so you know where you're painting. And the bake, you can see here. At the bake, what that does, it is add uh, all the lines for the body, and it makes it look like an actual truck, other than just a painting. So you want to have that ticked. Uh, I think you are able to change the opacity here if you don't really like uh, the bake looking too, uh, making everything too dark. I'm sure there is a way to do it. I'm used to Photoshop, but I know there's a way to do it in Paint.net. Mask, you want to have that ticked. And you have different headlight options here. You have uh, headlights, taillights, patch, grill. We have many different grills you can see. And a lot of the other bodies will also have uh, a lot of different selectable parts as well. So you got to familiar, familiarize yourself or whatever the word is. <laughs> Uh, to paint on that's format and it's in the way it is able to uh, be used because paint on that has a lot of really cool tools you can zoom way in and get ultra details if you like and I am going to just give this a brush width of 30 and it'll just be something simple Perfect. Oh, I actually did that on the bake. You don't want to do that. You don't want to paint on the bake. Ideally, you would be painting on the base so that you could have everything you like. But if you're putting in pictures or pictures to trace, what you can do is paste them into a new layer and make sure you get everything aligned properly. But for this instance, uh, all I'm going to do here is change the color. I'll make it blue, and I will select the paint bucket tool, and make it blue. Look at that. And then I'll go to white. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So now if I go to this and white, there we go. Test. And... I guess that's good enough. That's actually upside down. So uh, here's what I could do. Take this. Oh. Take this, and I'm sure there's a way to rotate it around. Image, rotate. Here we go. Look vertical. That's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. Paint on that. Why you bad? As, as I said, I don't know paint on that. I'm sure there's a billion different things you could do a billion times better than me, but too much effort. Quick video for testing. So that's her beautiful test skin. Uh, don't judge it. And we can go ahead and save this. Now when you're saving it, this is where you want to save it as a regular file. So I'm going to name this Amazing Test Skin. And for file type, we're going to save it as a PNG. So you got to be careful which layers you have selected when you want to save your PNG because it'll save all the layers in, into one. So you can see I have the bake, the mask, the tail lights, and one of the grills and one of the headlights, and as well as the base color. And just confirm that that's all good looking. Otherwise, you'll just get a very, very too blue truck with no windows or anything. So hit save and bit depth. I ideally you'd want to have this all stock, but if you like huge file sizes you could 
make it really, really big. And you get a little preview here. If you want to, you can make that bigger or full screen. But that's okay. I'm going to hit OK. And now we can flatten the image. What that does, should it'll make it its own skin. We can see we're now working on the amazing test skin. And now everything is just on the base layer. We can go ahead and exit out of this now. And now we have our paint file. Now that you have made your, your skin file, now is the time to go and watch Guard's easy skin video that I pointed to earlier. Because now that you have the skin file and you have its name, you are ready to put it in game. And Guard's video will show you how to do that. I might make my own video if uh, enough people request it, but Guard's video is definitely good enough. So, that's all for me today. If you guys enjoyed making this beautiful skin today, and please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Scamboy. I'll see you all in the future.